so the guys are finishing up the coloring on this, on this little water wall that we did here, which I think is really nice. This is something that, uh, very marketable product. In the meantime, just an update, I wanna show you, and I've been talking about this a long time, and that is making retainer walls out of the panel system. So we did, a, I'm gonna show you a project that we're working on here, and it's, it's not completely uh, finished. In other words, you don't see it colored, and, the, and we didn't pull the forms off because it was, uh, that we, we had just poured them and then we took off, so we really didn't get a chance to really show the, the capstone on it. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you, look at the drawing here, and you'll see, this is kind of how we're doing it. We're having the, the, uh, the, the, the panel there, and then we actually used a, a pins, uh, rebar pins that we put, and you can put them down, and you can see how you can use the, the pins in there, and it actually holds the two things together. And when it holds, it holds the two sides. You have your uh, uh, panel on both sides, and you can use that as a retainer wall, or you can put plywood on one side, and of course your panel here. Now this is about a 35 foot wall, uh, probably, uh, you know, the 10 foot uh, pieces, so you had about 30, you had three panels and a little short panel going back the opposite way for the end of the, the wall. And this is about a three foot wall though. This was thick, they wanted it thick. But you could go and they had about a, a four foot footer in it. But this right here, you, you do a retainer wall, an engineered wall, whatever, but you can use, you do a foot. You only need a foot, that's all you need. So if you have the panel, you have maybe about 10 yards of concrete with a footer on a 35 foot around there with your capstone. And that you just form up and frame around. And of course, the panel's all done. So you have your rocks, you don't have to carve it. Whereas with the Stonemaker product, you had to get a, a, a good grout mix. And of course, you had to know how to stack it and you had to know how to, to carve it. And we were trying to get it to all monolithically look the same. And that wasn't able to do it. With the panels, you were able to get the same exact look all the way through. So we'll come back and color that. But I just want to show you how we did that to show you that you can do retainer walls with this thing and uh, kind of show you some, I'm gonna show you some drawings and show you how in the end of this video and show you kind of some of the things you can do uh, with the video. panel system. And the panel system is very simple. And uh, a part of this wall, we actually put dirt on this side, put spacers on the inside, filled it, pulled it out, put the dirt back. We didn't even have any pins on it, did we? No, no we just put the panel up there like that and. And, and pulled the dirt back and we had plastic and then put the dirt, put the plastic off. Also, we had a wall that was filled with concrete because it displaced the weight or the pressure up against the panel. Um, so dirt works or you can use the pins. Either way, the panels, you're done. You can do it inside for stairs or whatever you wanna do, but you don't have to learn how to carve. You don't have to learn how to do that. And that capstone looks really, really handsome over the top of that thing. So here's how we did it. All right, so let's look at the panel retainer wall. So just to give you all the information on this, is a panel retainer wall. This is a footer, and the footer is below the grade. Here's the grade here. And of course, uh, if the slope were to come up, this is where we're cutting into. So we're cutting into this, and then we're putting our panels here. So what I what I do is we usually take the dirt back over here like this before I backfill. And we're gonna put a piece of pan, uh, a plywood in here because uh, before we form this out, remember this can be just into the dirt. You could dig this out. And here we have about a, I think it's a three foot footer. And depending on you know what they engineer, this is a three foot footer engineering here on a five foot high wall. <clears throat> Over here, we have the drainage, which is right here. The drainage is coming in here across there. And of course, over here, this is the capstone. You don't have to do it on the backside because you're not gonna see it, but over here, this is how we did it. We did a block of wood here, or a piece of two by four in here, then a two by six over here that bit into that and came across all the way to here. Now you have a capstone here. This is the panel that you tie into it here, and this already has the rock form. So you don't need a form liner, you don't need to carve it, you don't need to learn how to carve or anything like that. And then of course, we'll just put the, uh, the concrete's gonna come into here and here and fill this up. Uh, and you can have the footer first and tie your panel, wet set your panel into here. And that way you don't have a blowout this way, okay? So here you say, well, how do you stop the, once you have the, the footer in there, here's your footer, then you're gonna pour concrete into these. Well, you have a piece of maybe three eighths, uh, three quarter fly, plywood on this side here. And then on the back, on this side, you have a, a, a piece of, a, a, I mean, a, a panel, okay? And the panel sits in the back here foot and a half across here. Rebar in here, the rebar sits up in here and there's the there's the, vert the laterals and the vertical. <clears throat> now here's the thing. How do you stop this from uh, the, uh, from blowing out if you put concrete in here? Well, here there's two different ways, okay? What I did is I drilled holes in here and I put a 3 8 rebar in here like this, across here like that. I'm sorry, so I use a 3 8 rebar, bring it across here and of course it's sticking out on both sides. 
Then what I do is I get a piece of rebar in here and over here, and I bend this down over. Now you have this rebar hanging out over here. It actually goes a little further down. Then what I do is I, I have a hole over here, a hole over here, stick another piece of rebar over here, stick another piece of rebar there. So now you have two holes, uh, and you can bend this rebar and make another hole down here, or if you're if you're gonna wet set this into the concrete, it's not gonna blow that out. It's a, and on this side anyway, it's not. Another thing that you can do uh, to, you know, that's easier than putting all these pins in here, and like I said, you could do another one here, and then have this, uh, the, the rebar in there, and then, then bend it over like this into here, like that. And then what you do, as you bend it over, over here, you tie it into this other piece over here. You just get a piece of wire and you tie it in. Now that, believe it or not, holds this whole thing from it uh, blowing out. So this doesn't uh, blow out that way. You don't want the concrete to come in here and sit in there. Another thing you do is do more of a dry concrete. Uh, you know, don't do such a wet mix. And you can have it pumped or whatever. Let's, even if you did a four inch slump or three inch slump, it, it's more than good. Remember, all of this is, you're not gonna get efflorescence because the panel will stop that. <clears throat> of course, it'll all seal that up in here. You have your drainage, so you're cool. Another thing you do is put your put some spacers in here, like some rebar spacers in here, so it doesn't collapse. The uh, it doesn't go uh, in. And what you do is you put uh, dirt backfill this dirt. Okay, so now you have this holding itself. You didn't have to have those pins. And of course, on the front, you just put dirt, pile dirt up like about like that and pile dirt all the way along this, like that. And then, and then like I said, put your backfill in against this plywood, and then put your concrete in. This will not blow out. The weight of this displaces that. No inertia, anything. There's just, you're just, you're wait, it's just a weight for weight right there. And this right here will hold any of the concrete that you put in there. Make sure you put it in there, you know, good, get a piece of plastic so it doesn't dirty up all your, your panel. So put a piece of plastic in between here, and then put your dirt all up in here and just kind of pack it up in there. And uh, and then when you pour concrete along the whole wall there, you have nothing to worry about. Now this will not implode this way or come in because you have these little, you have these rebar spacers that you put in here on the bottom and the top. And then you can pour into it, leave the rebar in there, it doesn't hurt anything. Anyway, so that's the concept. Two ways of doing it. You can do it with the pins <clears throat> or you can do it with the dirt, backfill the dirt and do it on a freestand. I'm gonna show you how a wall that we did that we used both the pins and of course we did the dirt. So we'll show you how to do that. And this is a great way to do a retainer wall. You wanna talk about money. You have only uh, <clears throat> maybe on each of these panels, you have about a seven bag to eight bag mix. 30 foot wall going back. So you'll have 30 times five. It's gonna be 150 square feet divided by 40. So you have about 3.75 uh, panels. So if you have seven bags to a panel, you can use eight bags if you want to make it thicker. It's up to you. But let's say you have eight bags. You have close to about a thousand. You have close to close to a thousand dollars, about a thousand dollars in panels. Okay, that's what that's going to cost you. Now, how about your mix in here? You're going to have your mix here is going to run you. Oh, you got your footer here. That's three foot uh, by about almost two feet because you have a footer that's a little thicker, and then you go up to a foot and a half. So I would think I would think you'd have close to at a thirty foot you'd have about fifteen yards of concrete in there. So if it costs you fifteen yards of concrete, even twenty at thirty feet, which is I don't think it'll it, it won't be that much. It'd actually be more like uh, a ten yard pour that would do the whole thing. But uh, you can kind of calculate it, and I'm not going to get into all that. But you know what your concrete is. So if you're paying one hundred ten dollars a yard, you know. Uh, you're, you're about a thousand. You're about a thousand dollars. Let's say fifteen hundred dollars. Let's go up, in case you're having to pay more for concrete. So if you're fifteen hundred there, a thousand for the panels, not including labor or your, you know, the drainage pipe, the rebar, and all that stuff like that. But just the the concrete and the panel there, you're you're at about uh, twenty five hundred dollars for a thirty foot wall, which I think is really good. I mean, you you look at the the cost of that. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> you know, you're, you're, that's not bad at all. So, um, you're, you're very, very uh, uh, competitive. You can stay competitive and make it look nice. Still got to color this, take that off, and look at the cap. But it'll look really handsome. When we're done. Let me show you a wall we did. It's not a completed wall. Still have the wood on it before we finish it. But let's show you what we did and how we did it.
this is the way to do panels with the, or, or actually retainer walls with the panels. Now we're going to do a, the drainage uh, uh, of this is coming across here, I have drainage in here. That's gonna be going through the panel. Right now they're squaring off these panels. I'm using uh, plywood in the back of it. And the plywood sits in the back of this and we'll use pins so it, it, it'll hold both sides in. If you don't use pins, you can put plastic over this, put dirt up against this, you pour in the eye side of it, you take the dirt out with the plastic out. You got a perfect wall, it's already carved, it already looks nice, you just color it, and you have a cantilever. And we'll show you how we do the cantilever tomorrow. But right now we poured the footer today. So there's the footer coming all the way through here. The panel, the back, we don't use a panel in the back, we don't, this is much cheaper than using panels. And of course you just use this, this is where it's gonna come up. This is gonna come up to here. Another piece over here and then our cantilever about a six inch cantilever we're going to do a nice thick edge on top of this which is done just with all concrete so the only thing panel is going to you're going to use a panel you can use panel for your for your cantilever tops but here we're just going to use we're going to use concrete so you can we're going to show you how to form it up and how to use your panels to do a retainer wall of course you'll have cuts here for the pipe will go through over there as well as over here but now you have a random rock rock wall and of course this will come up to here actually up to here and then all the way across over to the level. So the level there will come all the way level across. The pillars will go up and you can see we already did this already here. And look at that, concrete in between the panels. Look how cool that is. And this is a freestanding structural wall that we had to do. And then we got another one way over there, which is really high. And that's solid concrete also. retainer wall out of the panel system okay so the pattern system here is uh the guy the boy's been working on this here and the panel system is basically put the panels in here we'll put plywood in the back you got rebar coming up we already poured the footer and uh and of course you have your spacers which we'll take out and uh ho hold on one second tell, tell them to stop just so i get done Wait till, wait till I get, uh, yeah, 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 just like, just, I just want to, I'm just going to do a quick Facebook Live to show them what we're doing. We're going to pour the concrete into this and it'll have an automatic capstone because what we did, you say, Dave, you're going into forms now. Well, with the panel system, it is. I mean, you could, we could have poured a wall here. Uh, and Dave's but, even using rebar. Uh, I can you imagine that. <laughs> so, uh, but, and I don't want to have to stack up to this thing and then try to carve it. Not only that, but try to match what he's doing on this big, massive, there's going to be a 10 foot pillar there. And of course the top's gonna to be there, 12 foot. We've already poured uh, concrete into this and you can see how you put the panels in there and we'll put rebar pins. And these rebar pins I'm showing another video. Uh, and, and look at that, it just holds the concrete in there so you can pour your concrete in there. You have a very solid wall. Now here we did the drainage, which you see the drainage over there, drainage over here. And the drainage goes back in here and it goes back that way and behind there. And of course we put our drainage and put our backfill but now you have a uh, 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 weight against this, okay? And it's, structure, it's held up by these boards here. As I put the concrete inside there, it goes straight up, and then I, make, I bring it to the top cap over here, bring this across here, and now I have a capstone. I have a capstone automatically uh, with the whole panel. The panel, as thin as they are, believe it or not, holds up all that concrete. And you're like, how the heck? What we do do is we put a, a piece, a piece of a plastic over on this, Plastic goes all in here. And then of course we put dirt up against it. So you have a weight displacement. Now you don't have to do that. You can also put a piece of rebar in between the, the here, tie the rebar down, tie the rebar to the other side. And of course it, 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 it holds it between the two and no concrete and it doesn't blow the walls out. So this is really cool because we put this and put the pin on top. So those of you that are Cliff Rock dealers, you don't have to learn how to carve. You don't have to do any of that stuff like that. Just put your panels in there. And this is very, you know, the, the price of our panel mix is so inexpensive now that you can use these and you're way up in there price-wise with any other kind of wall. There's not, and, and look how nice that was. You can do stack stone or you can do the rock. And of course we haven't mudded this, but once we mud this and tie it together, you'll see how it all works together. Now, as this comes back over here, it will diminish to that side probably another uh, put another piece of plywood on that side you can pop the plywood off after you pour or you can just leave it in there it's not gonna hurt anything so uh, but for the most part you have all this uh, the concrete in here we already did the steps down there concrete goes all the way down to the bottom your footer in here you have about a four foot maybe five foot footer 
because you get a lot of freeze thaw here that's already there and of course your drainage is all in place so everything's set so it's a, it's an engineered wall and we're over five foot we're at about five those walls there are going to be concrete at the top and they're almost uh what are those uh uh, uh eight feet and that's one over here is 12 feet 12 foot on the pillar solid concrete going up and that's panels holding now you don't need these honestly if it was up to us the engineer wanted the concrete in it but it was up to us we just put the panels put it on there and the panels are strong enough but uh, since that's what they wanted that's what we did but in the meantime you have a retainer wall that's uh you're six feet okay so, yeah so you can see how tall they are so they go way up there and of course uh like i said there again we have concrete that we poured into this from this side over here uh, on this side over here, you can see the concrete all poured in there. And uh, so pretty pretty nice solid wall. You could put, I mean, this is, <laughs> might withstand a, a hurricane. Let's go up to Carl Stuper. Uh, you could use snap ties. You could use snap ties on that also. Of course, it, it depending on the measurement on how you're gonna do the, the, the wall itself, but snap ties would absolutely work on the, uh, <clears throat> on the panel system. So you could do that. But either way, your panel, you're, once you're done, you're done. You don't have to use a form liner. You don't have to carve it. You can use uh, a, a less higher grade concrete, a lesser grade concrete, and still have your mass. Uh, there's, there's a lot of advantages, you know, so. Yeah, so this is, anyway, I just wanted to show you this, that with the panels, you can do exactly what you need to do. You're but, right, that's right, because, you know, Leroy, you're used to doing forms all the time. You, know, you come from forms, so now this is, what do you think of this? This is easy. It's easy money. Yeah, so, so yeah, this is just comes up in here. And of course, um, the, the, the concrete will fill up in there. And we'll show you later on and we'll fill up to here. We'll drop it, make the panels. And then of course you just color all this and make it all match and it'll look beautiful when we're done. And uh, probably have to come back and color it in the spring because it's just too cold. But we'll pour the concrete right now, which is what we'll be able to do. So anyway, there I am getting a little sun. But I uh, uh, hope you guys are having a good day. We just thought I'd show you what we done. All right, hey, give God the glory. Praise him in all things. And uh, I'll catch you guys a little later, okay? There's the capstone, and there's the panels underneath it, and that's going to look nice. And of course, we put our concrete up on top of this, and these are our, our pins that we do. We, did, we do the rebar through it here, pin it over, join it here, and then you got like that. Then the concrete sits down in there, and then you mud these corners and these seams and anywhere else. That, like, it's offset here. Just mud it, and uh, you know, all the way across here. And uh, of course, Leroy is finishing up over here. All right, man. So this is our capstone that we're putting on here. Turned out pretty nice. And of course, Nate did the uh, other concrete in there and with the big boom pumper. Uh, boom that stuff way the heck over here and threw the concrete all the way up in here. And we got concrete down. We got seven, almost a seven foot footer and it comes up and it goes over here. See all the concrete we got up in there, and uh, so it's pretty high. But it's amazing. See, once these, 
once you take the, the, the pins out and everything, it holds. But here, well, before we put the pins of concrete, you just put these, these rebar in here, you bend it over, you tie it, rebar, bend it over, and it holds the panel. It's pretty crazy, but it holds the panel. You think as much weight as you have, as much as you think it have, you think it hold, wouldn't hold it, but it holds it really nice. And you can see where the concrete is all the way up inside there. Um, really nice, nice uh, dry mix too. About a 4,000 pound concrete. And it was about 12 degrees when we got here this morning. It's uh, so that retainer wall was done out of the panel, the panels, and then we just poured into it. Very simple. This right here, we were already doing that, so I thought, well, you know, I've been wanting to show people how to do that, and this is what we did. So, looking pretty good. All righty. So, all right, my head's been in inside of a this uh, thing here all day because it's so cold. I look like an Antifa. <laughs> It's been cold, I'm telling you right now. And right now we're at about, what, what did we about, 18 degrees, guys? What's the temperature right now, about 18? About 18, it might be going down. A negative two? Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's a little gray in there. I'm looking good, man. Well, anyway, maybe not. Let's see, oh, there's my, there's my, there's my, look at this. This is my eco over here, look at the curl. I got the. Now, does he look like me? Come on, let's see. Let's see. Does Bradley look like me? He does look like me, huh? A little bit. Yeah, there you go. All right. There. We must be. That's my nephew, Bradley. What's up, everybody? That's it, from New Mexico. Zach Angus. All right. Hi, Zach, how you doing? Tell him what you're doing. Screening it out, getting a level. So you're telling the camera, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Obviously, the Screen it out, getting a level. You can't work with the camera. I'll tell you that, bro. You gotta do this. I was gonna put you on our, on our camera thing, but I don't know, man. Okay, show you that Texas opportunity. Leroy, camera shot. That Texas. Give that little twang. Yeah, give that twang on that Texas twang. Yeah, how about them cowboys? How y'all do? How about them cowboys? What about them? What about them? Got got McCarthy now. She's coming up. Is it is it McCarthy from a movie song? All right, so we're having some fun here, just uh, with the big concrete pump going on here in the cold, cold weather. Well, we're almost done here. Finished pouring up here. We got to clean up and uh, and set up, get out of here. So it is too cold back here. That, yeah, I guess you guys got some snow. They got this weekend. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of snow over here. So we're just cleaning up this camp and getting the heck out of here. We got concrete blankets going on this, and then. Uh, you guys have a great, great weekend, and uh, we'll talk again, okay? God bless you. Have fun. Well, they're almost done here, and uh, so you saw how we did that video, how, you, how we did the uh, retainer wall. That is something that you can do. I mean, my goodness. Uh, anybody can do that as well as, of course, the fireplaces and things that we showed you earlier. But uh, to be able to go and do a retainer wall out of the panel system and it be engineered or anything like that, that is really an amazing uh, type of a product. And boy, it's the idea. Remember, the ideas that count. The idea of this, we should put rocks here. You can make this out of a wood panel we have. We're going to make one like that where we have a wood uh, 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 water wall. And of course, on the outside, we have wood out here. look like an old boxed wood thing but it's a water wall so there's just so many things that you can do that look so nice and wait till we're done with this by the time they scratch it and of course they finish coloring and everything like that <laughs> the same thing we did with the uh fireplace that we did over here and so the fireplace and i showed this earlier uh on i think i had it on facebook live earlier but uh showed how we did this this was very simple and of course this the products it's the ideas it's the panels that are there but it's the ideas the things you can do with them and people love ideas and they love products with great ideas so hopefully you can get these put it all together learn how to do it and uh get your own system going like this this is awesome see you next time